<laughs> Don't you guys would be sick of me. Never. Oh, like a story. All right. All set. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have nothing to say. <laughs> somebody, I think somebody should ask me sorry. something. First of all, how does it feel to be Not in that. London? Not that. Something else. No, I'm just kidding. What, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> how does it feel to be in London celebrating your, your legacy? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Yeah, I, I love this place. Uh, you know, I've been here many times, and uh, I, I assume you're talking about the movie coming out? Is that? Yeah. My, or, uh, or something else. <laughs> Do I have something on my face? No, uh, it's, it's great, you know. I, I tweeted out yesterday, I'm not far from the original Sussex, and you know, poo sticks for everyone. So uh, <laughs> here we are, let's, let's do it, yeah, a lot of fun. Anybody? One, yeah. I think just following up on that, obviously, oh, yeah. um, fans are so excited to get this big screen return for Pooh, but I think it's also, it's a different sort of iteration of the character with mm -hmm. the, 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 I mean, do you think it was important um, for the character to sort of, I guess, move on in that way and for, to, to something a little conceptually different? Yes, it, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I credit the great Mark Forster and, uh, you know, uh, Brigham Taylor. These guys are, are geniuses. And uh, it's, uh, I, I just think everybody's going to be so happy when they see it. it uh, everybody worked really, really hard. I mean, on every little detail. And, the, you know, I think, I think it shows. And... Uh, and it's a suiting, it's a, it's a beautiful addition to that legacy, to that old tradition. You know, it, uh, it started with the, the, the classic stories of A.A. Milne, and it's kind of right back there. And, uh, it, you know, it's gone all the way around uh, to, you know, poo on skateboards. And, you know, <laughs> so here we are back in the, truly back in the Hundred Acre Wood. Love it. I mean, obviously, Pooh's such an iconic character, but I think people often forget about you know Christopher and, and what that character represented. Um, Absolutely. You think, can you talk about? I mean, this is the first time we've seen an adult Christopher. What that kind of looks and feels like? Yeah, it's it's. I think it's great. It's so it's such a beautiful extension of the story. It just carries the story forward, because he was a real person. Uh, he's not quite as real in our movie, but uh, I think it will be forgiven. Uh, you know, and Ewan McGregor is just he's perfect you know he's like the perfect straight man and then he's funny and then it's uh, uh you know and and Haley, everybody i think i think everyone's just going to be very very happy and very pleased it's a uh, you know uh those stories were so heartfelt and uh but and it apparently as we all know at this point it it wasn't a, a complete joy being christopher robin it's like yeah i know yeah i know i get it you know it so uh there, there's a it's probably a cross to bear but it was still was a bit of a, a drag on him and next thing you know he's being dragged off to war and calling in airstrikes and uh it comes home uh, with a purple heart and and it just humanizes everything so beautifully and you know he winds up back in the hundred acre wood and with all that love back around him again that he thought had abandoned him in life and i'm gonna shut up now because i might give away something really cool <laughs> <laughs> well i think i mean just in terms of the voice, obviously, it's such an iconic voice that you've given us for this character. And I think even just from the little clips we've seen, there's a sense mm. that it's a slightly different performance from you, maybe a little more weary with the work. Oh, well, that could be. He's been waiting for a while. Um, <laughs> no, but, uh, but he's very surly in this. No, no he's not. Uh, <laughs> he's ninja poo. Uh, don't, off is not a place you want to tick him. Trust me. Uh, but I'm not even sure how to answer that. It's uh, it's it's him, you know. It's uh, it's everything that you liked about uh, the old characters and uh, a whole. I just think it's a whole level to appreciate, a whole brand new level to like on top of that, and and love on top of that. I'm, I'm, we're all nuts about it. I hope everybody likes it. <laughs> now you've got such a diverse range of characters as well that, you, that you've played. Uh, I mean, do you have trouble kind of keeping them straight when you're recording in the studio? You know, I don't, because uh, we're schizophrenic, and we are too, so we're fine with it, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, no, it's, uh, you know, I, people have asked that, uh, and, you know, because Winnie the Pooh is, is very sort of light, and, well, uh, that sort of thing, and then Tigger, forget about it, excuse me, you know, he, he's, uh, and that actually helps that they're far, far apart, you know, in sound and, and in uh, you know, personality, everything. It's actually, a, a, you know, if, I, if it was Pooh and Piglet, it'd be like, oh, darn it. Okay, let me put my Piglet scarf on. And, you know, that would have been a tougher one. But uh, that, that 
contrast between them is a boost. Yeah, you know, to me. It's easy to switch between them because I know you do a lot of panels at conventions yeah. where you and other voiceover artists read scripts in different. Oh characters. yeah, yeah. That's always that's never been a, a big thing. Uh, that's a, another. It's a really logical question, but you know, I've thought about this. Um, well, oh my God, you do because somebody will read an IMDb thing, and I don't know if I did 400 or whatever. I, I, I didn't count them, but I'm glad someone was. <laughs> but uh, I just don't know. And 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 well, how do you keep them separate? Separate. Um, I think it's the same way that you can keep in your head separate uh, God Save the Queen from Silent Night mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, some other, you know, She Loves You. Well, how, do you, how can you tell? They're, well, they are. They just are. You know, and I think if you look at it that way, then it just goes, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I could do that part. You know, otherwise it sounds like we really are schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> and we really are. So... Do you Jokes enjoy, on us. Do you enjoy mashing up different scripts and voices? And oh, sure. Yeah, well, I'd do that at home for free anyway. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I occasionally read what's written there, and, and uh, but not very often. I ad lib a lot. and No, it's just a ball. Yeah, people, people get a kick out of it. There's something wrong with Winnie the Pooh delivering a Darth Vader line. <laughs> you are part of a rebel alliance and a spy. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> you should never do that. I mean, talking about wrong, how far have you taken it? Has Winnie ever said anything that he really shouldn't be saying? Probably. <laughs> Thank God only a thousand people were recording it. <laughs> no, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a terrible, yeah, just, yeah, yeah but, uh, yeah, every now and then, but I, I try. I try to, you know, I had an accountant who, never mind. She, <laughs> she just wanted me Pooh, to say things to her, and I said, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. <sighs> oh, you were, uh, I recognize you now. That, that's you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> yes. Don't bother. <laughs> Moving on from that, um, are there any other characters? Obviously, you're known for Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Are there any other characters within the Pooh universe that you would have liked to voice? Narrator. That guy's got an easy gig. <laughs> you know, no makeup. It's just he just shows up and reads. Doesn't it doesn't have to memorize lines. Does his own stunts. So, so, yeah, narrator. <laughs> no, I I'm happy. <laughs> would there you know. be any voices outside of the Pooh universe you'd like to do? Did I do? Well, I do them. Mm. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not here to covet. I'm a, I'm all right. <laughs> I, I wanted Marge Simpson, but damn it, I don't know. I just, someone was everyone was better than me. Uh, so no, but uh, you know, I mean, I've other characters I really really like. I like Ray from Princess and the Frog because people, oh, what's your favorite? Well, Pooh and Tigger are in their own category. They they just are. Uh, but then Ray from Princess and the Frog um, and uh, Darkwing Duck from Darkwing Duck, and uh, and Tasmanian Devil won't be doing books on tape. I, they wanted me to announce that. <laughs> so you're safe. <laughs> yes, and, uh, but uh, uh, did, I think Hondo Onaka from the Star Wars universe is one of my faves. He's, he's kind of getting a lot of notoriety. Uh, but yeah, and then whatever the next one is. I'm the Shark Week guy, too, back, back <laughs> home, so everyone. And the crowd went mild, but uh, so so I got that going for me. <laughs> yeah, speaking of blending, you go. We've got to let you go now. Thank we got to so go. Much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank Have you. a nice time. Woo! All righty. Thank you. I thought you guys would be sick of me. Never. Oh, I like this story. All right. All set. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have nothing to say.